This week, we put on our hard hats and head to SeaWorld and Busch Gardens for a preview of their new roller coasters. We'll also have the latest theme park news and more coming at you right, right now. now. brought to you by MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for Disney World, Universal, cruises, and all your vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit MEITravel.com. Undercover Tourist is our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Florida and California theme parks and attractions. For the best deals and planning tips, go to UndercoverTourist.com or find them on Facebook and Twitter. Fun Spot America is Central Florida's only family-owned theme park, offering two locations, Orlando and Kissimmee, both theme parks provide safe, clean fun. For more information, visit fun-spot.com. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the show. I'm Banks. And I'm Elisa. So it seems that it's that time again where our producer, Matt, gives us a taste testing on the show. <laughs> it's not, not always, you know, something that we necessarily want to taste, <laughs> but this time at least we have some chocolate bars. It's, so. it's candy. It's, it's, I think it's, it's about it's seven different candy bars from Universal Orlando that are themed to different things like uh, the Spickle Me, Shrek. Uh, just a couple things to talk about here, like this is a, a gingerbread with gumdrop bits. That sounds good. Sounds very good. There's also one in here that has Pop Rocks, like Poppy Candy no, in it. No, not for me. Maple flavored waffles. I don't know how I feel. <laughs> Stay tuned to the end of the show. You'll be able to see us uh, tasting it's some be of these. Exciting. Yes, yeah, I might skip exciting. one or two because I, I, I don't know. Yeah, me, me, whatever I don't want, you can have, and whatever you don't want, I'll have. We'll we'll teamwork there. Perfect. Yes. We got this. We, we got, got this. this. Something now, else pretty cool. I just gotta say, I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh no, no, you. I was gonna say, I think you have a wedding update, right? I do have a wedding <laughs> update. I found my dress, or as we say, I said yes to the dress. <laughs> and we're gonna show it right now. No, no. Don't, <laughs> don't do want to ruin it. Don't I don't want Jonathan it. to see it. <laughs> but yes. I found the dress, went to David's Bridal, mm -hmm. great deal, super excited. Has he found his suit? We haven't gotten that far, no. no the far dress far. is more important. So, this is true. <laughs> this is very true. You still got over a year to go, so yeah. plenty, plenty of time. Yay. Well, we got some news to talk about, so let's get to that. First up this week, Magic Kingdom guests won't be able to dream along with Mickey much longer. The long-time running Castle stage show Dream Along with Mickey is being replaced this summer with a new show called Mickey's Royal Friendship Fair. In the new show, Mickey and his troop of merrymakers have been preparing to host a joyous festival and have invited friends from other lands to join the celebration. Among the friends they've gathered are characters from The Princess and the Frog, Tangled, and Frozen. The last day to see Dream Along with Mickey is April 2nd. So are you happy or sad to see it go? Let us know in the comments. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to see it go. I, it's just almost 10 years now that show's been running, so it's nice to see something new coming and get a, a refresh. I'm sad to see it go. I love Dream Along with Mickey, and I can't lie, every time they, Mickey tells us to say, dreams, dreams come, come true, true. A, I shed a tear or two. I can't help it. It's, it's such a good show. <laughs> I'm just picturing you now. Dreams come true. I am that person, like a child. Dreams come true. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm excited though for this new show, especially because I mean I know a lot of people are going to be like, uh, oh, Frozen," but it's just a small part. I love that they've brought together these characters from modern Disney classic films. Mm -hmm. So it's, it'll be nice to see that element. I guess so. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> a two-hour wonderful world, wonderful world of Disney special celebrating the 60th anniversary of Disneyland will air this weekend. The star-studded Diamond Anniversary event will be held both in Hollywood at the Dolby Theater and throughout Disneyland. Expect to see lots of special appearances from music, film, and television stars. Using Made With Magic technology, the Disney Applause app will deliver a second screen that will sync to the broadcast major musical segments, displaying colorful light shows and original content. Mm. Fans will also have the opportunity to experience parts of the show with virtual reality. Viewers will be transported to Sleeping Beauty Castle for a concert and to Main Street for a dance routine. The full virtual reality experience can be accessed through the Jaunt app, that's J-A-U-N-T, and viewed in a 360 degree video on abc.com slash VR. The wonderful world of Disney, Disneyland 60th, will air this Sunday, February 21st. 
from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC. Sound like a commercial. Is there... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited for this. I love Wonderful World of Disney, and I love that they are still doing the Wonderful World of Disney. Definitely. We, we grew up watching these kinds of And specials. bringing technology into it this year with some VR. That sounds so neat. It's going to be really, really cool. And I love the second screen uh, technology to use with the phone and have it all be all pretty and light up and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm just excited for this because I love theme park specials. Me and this too. seems like a really fun Sounds one. Sounds like it's going to be really immersive. I can't wait. You mm -hmm. might learn some new stuff about Star Wars Land too from what I hear. Mm. Now, a new website, social media channel, and online series has been launched by Universal Orlando to promote their upcoming King Kong attraction. Those interested in following along can head to MythExplore.com to learn about the quest for Kong. Aaron Ryder, who has been part of Sci-Fi's Destination Truth and National Geographic's Chasing UFOs series, is hosting the online series. Erin and her crew will visit an island that doesn't appear on any official map, hmm. a rocky skull-shaped jungle in the Indian Ocean where the story of King Kong originated. Her quest is to uncover the facts that prove the legend is real. You can also follow Myth Explorer on Facebook and Twitter. So far, only a trailer and two short clips have been released, which you can find on our website at attractionsmagazine.com. I love these kind of like viral yes. marketing campaigns and treating things like they're real and you can just follow along. Uh, yes, I agree. It's so cool. It kind of reminds me of um, this past Halloween at Bush Gardens, the unearthed house. Yes. It's, you know, like the the studying behind it and making it seem like it's something that you're really getting going into this world. And the fact that they actually brought in someone who has hosted these kind of TV shows on TV kind of adds a little bit more of uh, authenticity yeah. to to these to this story and I really hope to see them actually showcasing some of the inside of the attraction through the web series or maybe even have her come in for the grand opening as a, as a big finale moment. That'd be so cool. This it seems like this attraction's really starting to come to life and I can't we're wait. Skull Island, I can't <laughs> wait. <laughs> Finally this week, a new collection of music memorabilia has been added to the Hard Rock Hotel at Universal Orlando. From the Rolling Stones to Elvis, the Beatles to Rihanna, and Lady Gaga to Santana, the collection is the finale to the hotel's multi-million dollar renovation coinciding with the hotel's 15th, 15th anniversary this year. The premiere display located in the lobby now celebrates the legends of the Beatles and Rolling Stones. Additionally, to enhance the guest experience, they have added QR codes that allow access to the history of each piece all around the hotel. Have you ever explored the Hard Rock Hotel? I have not. I haven't either. I've, I've been there once uh, for, for a special event, but I never really got to walk around and see all the... Uh, props and displays that they have at the hotel. But if yeah. it's like Hard Rock uh, Cafe, then it's probably, it's, it's a pretty really impressive. Really neat. And again, you know, throwing in some technology and, you know, making people work for it a little to see the history. <laughs> Use that QR code. <laughs> work, for, work for it. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what, what we want to do these days is work for your information. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. And if you're interested, yeah, yeah. you'll do it. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You'll work for it. <laughs> Better work. Better work. Better work, babe. <laughs> Hi everybody, it's Hidden Mickey of the Week again. So let's go to Adventureland in the Magic Kingdom. A charm embedded in the cement between the magic carpets of Aladdin exit and the Agrabah Bazaar shop contains a tiny classic Mickey. It's near a shop pole that has blue paint above its base. It's kind of hard to find, it's out in the middle of the walkway, but it's worth the effort. Fun Spot America. Alisa, do you know what a shark has to do with a snake? Um, all I know is that the shark would probably eat the snake after it drowned. No, no, no. I'm not asking you which one would win in a fight. Which one would you rather take a ride on? They both sound really scary, and I'm not even sure you could ride on a snake. Look, you're, you're right about them being a little scary, but you'll be able to ride both of them very soon at Bush Gardens and SeaWorld. Oh, you're talking about Cobra's Curse and Mako. Yep, yep. And we see our new reporter, Patrick Santos, to check out the construction sites. Take it away, Patrick. 
Hi guys, I'm Patrick. You might know me from Florida E-Ticket because I co-host with my fiance Gavin, but today I'm here at SeaWorld Orlando where there's been a package delivered for the Coaster Mako. I'm kind of curious what's in it, but you know what? Let's go find out. We're going to unveil to you, for the first time, the custom ride vehicle that is the Mako. Let's have a look at Orlando's tallest, fastest, and longest lead ride car, the Mako. So we're here at SeaWorld. What is this? What's behind us? So behind us is the unveiling of the lead car of Mako, the big hypercoaster coming to SeaWorld Orlando. And it's really the chance for you guys to see for the first time how the spirit and the inspiration of Mako was really pulled from a real shark and how he moves and behaves right here to our ride vehicle design. So I am so excited. I cannot wait for this attraction to open. But what can guests expect to experience once they step foot in this ride vehicle? Well, you know, we're very excited at SeaWorld Orlando, too, for Make Go. It's going to be Orlando's tallest, fastest, and longest roller coaster. It's going to deliver relentless airtime. So our riders are going to feel like they are the Mako shark. This ride is inspired by the Mako, which is one of the fastest sharks in the entire ocean. So reaching speeds of 73 miles per hour, it's nearly a mile of track. So it's going to just over-deliver and over-deliver with airtime on this ride. A closer look at this ride vehicle, you're going to go 200 feet high with tons of air time with just a lap bar. I cannot wait. I am so excited. Now with the train arrived, what is the progress of construction? Yeah, so we're, we're very close to finishing the loop of the track. Uh, actually, next week we go into the park uh, with the loop out in the park. Uh, now that we're sort of right before our spring break and our soft seasons to do that. Um, and then all the trains are actually here. Uh, and as you can see behind us, the ride show building is going up quickly and the queue is all right behind it. So we got a whole realm we got to build as well. And that'll be a big subject matter we'll cover with you guys in a month or two. So that's the update of construction of Mako here at SeaWorld Orlando. Next up, let's go over to Busch Gardens Tampa to see their construction update of their new coaster, Koba's Curse. Stay tuned. The next time you plan a Disney vacation, book with a travel agency that's been specifically designated as an authorized Disney vacation planner. Unlike some other agencies, many of our agents' exclusive knowledge of Walt Disney World can help you get the most out of your vacation, and the assistance of our travel professionals can help you get a customized Disney vacation that's just right for you, your family, and your budget. Start planning your magical vacation today by visiting mousefantravel.com. Skip the lines with undercover tours, crowd calendars, touring plans, and mobile apps. Stop paying full price for your family vacation and visit Undercover Tours today. All right, guys, we made it over to Bush Gardens Tampa to go see the construction site for Cobra's Curse. Right behind me is the ride vehicle. You know what? I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and put a hard hat on. Let's go. expect with the queue and the story. Can you tell us more about that? Yeah. Cobra's Curse queue really represents the next uh, generation of storytelling for this park. It's the most intricate, detailed, and story-driven queue line experience that will include real snakes, uh, the chance for the guests to participate as recruits for the new archaeological dig team, um, and then some really unusual effects using projection mapping sound uh, throughout the queue as the spirit of the Snake King sort of materializes in front of them and transforms the rooms that they're within, uh, all leading up to their eventual journey uh, on the archaeological dig cart to the top of the crane to meet the snake face to fang and the curses placed upon them. So 
guests can actually see real live snakes here in the queue. This one right here is the Gaboon Viper. Look how terrifying this looks. But how cool is that? So can you just give us a breakdown what the guests can experience once on the ride? So on Cobra's Curse, we're putting a new spin on Family Thrills. This ride starts with a vertical lift. You'll lift 70 feet up into the air and then propel you towards our 80-foot snake, snake icon. You'll go right through the snake's mouth and then you'll go through your journey. We've, we've got this ride that unfolds in chapters. You go forwards for the first part of the ride, then backwards for the second part, and then the grand finale will be the free spinning. Great. Now for like the non-riders, is there anything they could do? From a non-rider perspective, this ride is highly integrated to the site and all of the guest pathways are right up against the roller coaster. This will be so photogenic and so much fun. So anybody who's not riding will be able to walk through and see this ride go over their head, under their feet, around them. You can get right in the middle of the action. So I know we talked to you about Mako yesterday. But which one are you most excited for? So it's, I can't give you the one that I'm most excited for, but I'm most excited the fact that within an hour and a half of each other, we've got the summer of thrills happening in Florida in the destination market of Florida for theme park tourists. So here it's super family thrills, one of a kind, unique, forward facing, backwards facing, free spinning coaster, one of a kind. And then up in Orlando, the record breaking Mako um, is gonna deliver very different thrills at a much higher speed with a lot more weightlessness to it. So very different experiences, but the beauty is that you could do them both in the same day in the state of Florida, which I'm most excited about. So that's your construction update here at Busch Gardens Tampa for Coa's Curse. I cannot wait for this thing to open this summer and I can't wait for Mako to open as well over at SeaWorld Orlando. Attractions Magazine is your guide to the world's greatest theme parks and attractions. Get the best information, photos, travel tips, rumors, interviews, and reviews from Attractions Magazine. Whether it's new, unique, big or small, or your theme park favorites, we cover it all in Attractions Magazine. Each issue features Central Florida's thrills and excitement delivered directly to your doorstep. Subscribe today at AttractionsMagazine.com. And now for this week's calendar. The Real Music Series at Busch Gardens resumes this week with Strawberry Fields through Saturday and the Glenn Miller Orchestra the 22nd through the 27th. Mardi Gras Universal continues with Nate Roos on Saturday. The Lego Movie 4D Weekends takes place at Legoland, Florida. And finally, SeaWorld Orlando's Bands Brew and Barbecue Festival features performances by Scotty McCreary on Saturday and Dennis DeYoung on Sunday. Don't forget to subscribe to our calendar at attractionsmagazine.com to stay up to date on these events and more. And now we'd like to thank MEI Travel, our preferred travel agent for cruises, Disney World, Universal, and all your other vacation planning needs. For a free quote with no obligation, visit meitravel.com. And thanks to Fun Spot America, Central Florida's only family-owned theme park. They provide safe, clean fun in Orlando and Kissimmee. Visit fun-spot.com for tickets and more information. And Undercover Tourist, our recommended supplier of discount tickets to Orlando and California attractions. For more information, visit undercovertourist.com. We also want to tell you how to get a free copy of our magazine through Theme Park Connection. If you spend $100 with them, you'll get one free copy. And if you spend $250, you'll get a free one-year subscription to the magazine. All right, so here we go. We are about to try seven different candy bars from Universal Orlando. Uh, you want to start with the three uh, Despicable Me themed ones? Yeah, let's do it. Or do you want to start first? Let's start in mm, banana. Mm, banana. It's milk chocolate with banana bits inside of it. So. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Great chocolate taste and definitely tastes just like banana. Mm-hmm. Good. I like that. It's like, mm, yeah. It is I, a small hint of banana, so that's good. It's not overwhelming, so. Cool. Let's works. move on. Cotton candy. Jelly Sweet beans. and fluffy cotton candy. I'm assuming these are cotton candy jelly beans. These are big pieces. Mm. 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 Just tastes like sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's just pure sugar. That is like mm. cavities in my mouth. It takes a little bit, but that cotton candy jelly bean really kicks in after a few seconds. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna need that, except for, mm. Oh my God, All there's right. so many more. I'm not, a I'm not a coconut kind of guy, so you dig into that one. All right, here we go. 
It's coconut and banana smoothie. Minions. Smells like sunblock. <laughs> <laughs> yum, yum. Um, mm-hmm. It's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I don't, I've never tasted sunblock, but I am. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> SPF thirty. Um, I like coconut. Is it is it a more of a banana taste than the milk chocolate one? Mm-hmm. Yes. More of the banana and coconut in this one, but it's good. Okay. Let's move on to Shrek here, and this is a waffle bar. This thing has the strongest smell of all all the samples here. It smells just like a maple covered waffle. Mm-hmm. And there's cone pieces inside of it too. Yeah. Ready? Mm. Whoa. Whoa! Bit, very crunchy. Well, it tastes just like a candy version of breakfast. It literally tastes like a waffle with syrup in my mouth. <laughs> I actually, actually, I actually kind of like that. I wouldn't substitute it for actual breakfast because <laughs> it's candy. But it's so much candy, I'm gonna like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Move on. So this is gingerbread with. Uh, Gumdrop bits. Give me the small piece. <laughs> you want the small piece? Okay, all right. You ready? Yes. Oh, oh that's hard to chew. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. mm. The gumdrops are very hard. Mm -hmm. It's going to take a minute. <laughs> but that's a gingerbread flavor, all right. The flavors that they advertise on here, they're present big time. Mm -hmm. Oh, God, it's stuck on my tooth. The, the gumdrop. That one's not my favorite. Nope, and that's going to take a while to get, ah, ah, <laughs> ah. Oh, it's going to take a little bit. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> this is a gumdrop and not going anywhere. <laughs> there it goes. Get her, get her. <laughs> okay. Hold on, that's a gumdrop. Okay. Okay, ah. perfectly popping bar, that's all you. You don't want, uh, it's got popping candy in it. I don't it. like that. I don't like this, uh, the feeling of this either, but I, I'm You're I'm, braving I'll give it. it a shot. Hmm. It might take a second for the popping to commence. Nope. Oh. He I can hear a little crackling <laughs> in my ear right now. He's got a really good taste to it. Um, I can't really describe what the taste is, but the popping's not, oh, it's getting more and more intense. I can hear it. You can hear it, yeah. Does it just taste like chocolate with popping candy? Yeah, that's what, basically what it tastes like. Yeah. Chocolate with a little sugar popping candy. And uh, this is going <laughs> to drive me insane all night. Oh, no. All right, last but not least, SpongeBob with chocolatey pineapple Pineapple's bar. all you. Mm, I can do this. Last piece. Mm -hmm. Very pineapple-y. Good. Would you I say like it's, it. does it have a similar taste like, you know, the Dole Whip, like a pineapple? Not as good. No, of course. But, yeah. I can see the hint. Of, it's a little bit like Dole Whip, but nah, it's hard after tasting all of the things right. before. Yeah, yeah. The, the flavors sort of mesh, but they're That's, all really good. Yeah, I'd say my two favorites are, are probably oh. the... Um, Milk chocolate banana, and I've got chocolate on my finger, <laughs> and uh, waffle bar. These are probably my two favorites right here. Yeah, mine was banana too, and um, the pine pineapple. Okay. Well, we'll definitely have to get some more of these next time right Yeah, Universal. they're three ninety five at Universal. You can find them all over the parks. All right. Well, that's going to do it this week. Yeah, thank you so much for joining us, and we hope you'll tune in again next week. Until then, visit your local attractions, try something new, stay safe, but most of all, have, have fun. fun. And eat more chocolate. Yes. You gotta have the popping rocks. No!
secret blooper of the week. With just a lap bar. If that doesn't... So that's your construction update for Cor... Co Hello, wooden... I... Uh, hi. Hi.